Hey, this is Ronnie Go Boom, and today I'm going to show you how to build a new, super simple trap for 1.9 that requires no redstone at all. Use this trap to troll your friends or kill your enemies and collect their loot by dropping them into a pit of creepers, deadly monsters, a deep hole with hoppers at the bottom, lava, or any other kill mechanism you can think of. If you wanted to, you could even turn an entire desert into a giant pitfall trap for your enemies. The reason this works is because there's a glitch in 1.9 that allows you to walk through falling sand blocks as long as they land on a fence or a stone fence. So it appears that there's a block here, but actually it's still an entity. It's just hovering above this fence post. And it'll tend to bounce around a little bit until you log out and log back in or until you reload the chunk. It works with any falling block on any type of fence. Red Nomster discovered this in a video on his channel. He came up with a really cool way to use it as well for survival. Check out the video on his channel. Now it is possible to avoid this trap if you just walk directly over the center of any of the fence blocks. They're disguised because you can't see them through the block, um, but unless you're walking in between blocks, you won't actually fall in the trap. So we design our traps to try to get them either to go diagonally or to go between blocks like this to make sure that they fall in. One great way to make sure they fall into your trap is to make the trap diagonal. It's a lot easier to fall through diagonal fence gates than it is sideways ones. Another way, like in this red sandstone temple that I built, is to trick a player into walking into the center between two blocks. So if I were to walk directly like this across these sand blocks, I would be able to walk right across the fence posts. But because there are two fence posts on the sides that I have to walk in between, it's impossible for me not to fall in this trap. I fall in and I get killed by the zombies at the bottom. I name them Ronnie Go Boom so that anybody who falls in that trap is killed by Ronnie Go Boom. <laughs> kind of funny, huh? Another way to make it really easy for them to fall in the trap is just to make it really big so that as they're walking across, they can't help but fall in. Again, I named those creepers Ronnie Go Boom. Ronnie Go Boom was blown up by Ronnie Go Boom. <laughs> if you want to help disguise these fence posts, you can actually, you can't place a fence directly right here. It kind of doesn't let you because the entity is in the way. But one thing you can do is you can take a piston and you can face that piston down and power that piston to push the fence into that block. So now it looks like a fence is coming directly out of it, makes it easier to blend in this trap with the environment. This can also be an interesting way to get the player to jump on a fake block. So remember, to get them to fall in, try to get them to go diagonally whenever possible. It's a lot easier to fall in when you're going diagonally. Make it a lot bigger, try to get them to walk in between blocks. Not directly in the center of a block like this, but in between blocks. They're a lot more likely to fall in. And be sure to make your kill mechanism so that it's a guaranteed kill. I always like to put hoppers at the bottom of mine to collect all the loot at the end. If you make a cool trap with this on a 1.9 server, let me know. I'd love to see screenshots or videos of anything that you make. Now let's get building. To start building this, you just need a pit of any size. You can make this as big or as small as you want, and it can be as deep or as shallow as you want, depending on what kill mechanism you want to build. I'm not going to do the kill mechanisms in this video, I'll kind of leave it up to you, but one of the easiest ones to use is lava or just dig straight down for a really long way until it's deep enough where they'll take enough fall damage to die. You could also put monsters in there, lots of methods, anything will work. As Mumbo Jumbo would say, let's crack on with it. We need a couple things to make this. We need nether brick fences and we need any kind of wood fence, doesn't matter what kind, I'm using birch fences. We're going to start by placing down fences in an alternating pattern. If we want, we can put them either here or here, and it'll turn out that the sand on this one falls down half a block, and the sand on this one raises half a block. They seem to bob in place a little bit, but if you log out and log back in, or just reload the chunk, they hold fast. I prefer to make them go down half a step, because then you can't jump out of it. Whereas if they go up half a step, they can get out of it. So while they're trying to figure out a way out, they'll usually fall down. So we're gonna make ours a half step down. So we're just gonna count down two blocks and then alternate between nether fence gates and regular fence gates. Nether, regular, nether, regular, all the way through in a checker pattern. 
Next, we just need a platform of any kind of block. Place your sand, red sand, or gravel on top. It doesn't matter what you use. It's all up to your preference. And then destroy the blocks below it. Now you just have to log out and log back in, and those things will stop popping around. Now we have a completed trap. All you have to do is <laughs> step in it and fall to your death. Now, obviously we have to make the kill mechanism now. Just for the sake of the video, why not put some lava? Nice new 1.9 sound animation for that lava. <laughs> Now we can dress up the sides to make it a little bit less conspicuous. If you want, you can put half slabs here and most people won't even notice. Most people just think this is a trick with stairs and not with half slab gravel blocks. Now for the kill mechanisms. My favorite is just to have a really, really, really deep pit. <laughs> so that when the player falls down, they take enough fall damage. And just for good measure, I like to put a couple <laughs> baby zombies. I try to give them some diamond swords or some diamond armor just to do a little bit more damage just in case the player survives the fall damage. If you like, you can line the bottom with hoppers and chests to collect their items automatically. And voila, you have an awesome kill mechanism. Super easy to make, just dig straight down and that's it. Or you can use any of the other kill mechanisms on my channel. I have tons of them and I come out with more every Tuesday. So make sure you subscribe, come check me out on Trap Tuesdays because I have a lot more traps. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I come up with new traps every Tuesday. If you're playing Minecraft 1.9, make sure you check out this trap here. If you're still playing 1.8, make sure you check out my ghost block trap videos. These things are insane. And if you haven't seen them yet, you definitely need to.